This is the second class of antifungal agents. Already we have seen some drugs coming under azole antifungal agents. So in this class we are going to see other drugs coming under azole antifungal agents. Okay, so the first one is ketoconazole. This is the structure of ketoconazole. What are all present in the structure of ketoconazole? First it is having a piperazine ring and the first portion of piperazine is connected with acetyl and fourth portion is connected with phenyl and the fourth portion of phenyl is connected with methoxy and that one is connected with this 5 ring that is called as dioxalane. So what is meant by dioxalane that is the 5 membered heterocyclic ring that is having 2 oxygens at 1, 3 that is why it is called 1, 3 dioxalane and in that um, here second portion is having dichloro so 2, 4 dichlorophenyl and the same second portion is having this is called imidazole, imidazole 1 YL methyl so that is the structure of ketoconazole. Now we will see the chemical name. So what is the parent for ketoconazole? This is this one that is called piperazine. Here we can choose anything as a parent. Here we have chosen piperazine as a parent. So in the case of piperazine what is present in first portion that is called 1 acetyl. So 1 acetyl 4 here with the 4 what is attached phenyl that is why again 4 in that. So this would be attached with that dioxalane would be attached. So um, this is 4, 4, here 2. So, in the second portion of dioxalane, what is attached? Uh, this is 2, 4, dichlorophenyl, close bracket. And in the same second portion, what is attached? This is called imidazole, imidazole 1 YL methyl. Otherwise, we can write 1 H imidazole 1 YL methyl. Okay, close bracket. This is called 1,3-dioxalane and that is connected with methoxy by means of fourth portion. That is why it is called 4-YL, dioxalane 4-YL. This is methoxy phenyl piperazine. So, that is the chemical name of ketoconazole. It is a broad spectrum antifungal agent. It is administered orally for the treatment of systemic fungal infections. Its main adverse effect is hepatotoxicity. It causes clinically significant increase in plasma concentrations of cyclosporin, phenytoin and terfenadin. It also enhances responses to sulfonylurea hypoglycemic and coumarin anticoagulant drugs. It is used for the treatment of candidiasis, cocidiomycosis, blastomycosis, histoplasmosis, chromomycosis and paracocidiomycosis. And also for severe refractory cutaneous dermatophytic infections. It is not responsive to topical therapy or oral griseofulvin. It has antagonistic effect with amphotericin B. It is used topically in a 2% concentration in a cream and in a shampoo for the management of cutaneous candidiasis and tinea infections. That is all about ketoconazole. Next drug is itraconazole. We will see the structure of that. So it is having a triazole and here this would be number 1, 2, 3, 4. 5. So, this is triazole. So, which triazole it is? 1, uh, 2, 4. 1, 2, 4 triazole and that is having ketone in third portion and second portion of that is having methyl propyl group. So, 1 methyl propyl. Actually, it is not a triazole. Triazole means I should have uh, 3 bonds, sorry 2 bonds and having 3 nitrogens. But here it is having only 1 bond. That is why it is called as dihydro triazole. Okay, dihydrotriazole, what is that? Uh, this is ketone. So, that should end with one. Triazole, three one. Okay. Now, in that fourth portion is connected with phenyl and the fourth portion of phenyl is connected with piperazin and the fourth portion of piperazin is connected with again phenyl. That is why it is, or to see the chemical name. So, four. This is the fourth portion of triazole. So, that is why 4. This 4 is indicating this portion. And that one is connected with phenyl. And here, fourth portion of phenyl is connected with this one. That is why again one more 4. This is piperazine. And that fourth portion is connected with phenyl. That is why one more 4. In that, this would be fourth portion. So, that is why 4 4s we have written. 
so this is indicating this fourth position and this four is indicating this fourth position this four is for this one and this is for uh, this position okay so in that so what would be attached um so here in that fourth here we have uh, methoxy already we have come across this this is called dioxalane which dioxalane is 13 dioxalane this is the second position of dioxalane so second position is having a uh, 24 dichlorophenyl so two open bracket 24 dichlorophenyl and again in the same second position what is attached this position already in ketoconazole we have seen imidazole but here again we have uh, so what is that this is called as triazole so triazole 1 yl methyl which triazole it is 1 2 4 1 2 4 triazole 1 yl methyl close the bracket this is called 1 3 dioxalane 1 2 1 and this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 so 1 3 dioxalane 4 yl close the bracket this is methoxy then phenyl uh piperazin this is first position though so piperazin 1 yl or 1 piperazinyl then phenyl close the bracket this is called um 2 4 dihydro 2 1 methyl this is propyl close the bracket 3h if ketone is not there that may be hydrogen that's why 3h uh 1 2 4 triazole 3 won so that is the chemical name of itraconazole so what are all present in the structure of itraconazole first it is having 24 uh, dihydro triazole triazole and that is having ketone in third position and second position of that is having 1 methyl propyl and fourth position is having phenyl the fourth position of phenyl is having piperazin uh, fourth position of piperazin is having again phenyl in that fourth position is connected with methoxy and that one is connected with the uh, 13 13 dioxalane and second position of that is having a uh, 24 dichlorophenyl and the same second position is having um, 1 24 triazole 1 yl methyl so that is the structure of itraconazole it is a orally active broad spectrum antifungal agent its main metabolite is 1 hydroxy itraconazole it has a significant antifungal activity it is used for the treatment of systemic fungal infections like blastomycosis histoplasmosis including patients infected with hiv non meningeal coccidiomycosis paracoccidiomycosis and sporotrichosis it is effective than ketoconazole it does not cause hepatotoxicity and adrenal or testicular suppression it increases the plasma levels of antihistamine drugs like terfenadine and astragalus drug is terconazole we'll see the structure of terconazole it is having piperazin nucleus so first position is connected with phenyl and the fourth position of phenyl is connected with uh, here hydrogen is not there um och2 so that is methoxy and that methoxy is connected with uh, same 13 dioxalane and second this is um, first position of dioxalane 1 2 3 4 5 so uh, second position of hydrogen dioxalane is connected with 24 dichlorophenyl and the same second position is connected with uh, triazole one, triazole 1 yl methyl and here fourth position of piperazin is connected with uh, methyl ethyl so that is the structure of terconazole now we'll see the chemical name so here first position also one open bracket this would be fourth position so four open bracket in that uh, in that hydroxy methyl would be attached and that is connected with the dioxalane no so in the second position of dioxalane so that's why two open bracket here two four dichlorophenyl again two open bracket and uh, this is one h One two four triazole one yl methyl close the bracket. Um, okay, and then what is it? Uh, one three dioxalane four yl. This is methoxy phenyl. Okay, and then here in fourth position, what is attached? Uh, one methyl ethyl. Then piperazin. So that is the chemical name of terconazole. In terconazole, hydrogen would not be there. Only O C H two.
it is a triazole it is also a triazole derivative it is used extensively for the control of vulvo vaginal monoliasis caused by candida albicans and other candida species this is a fluconazole from the name itself we can uh, we can know that, that it is having fluorine okay fluorine that is having azole that is called fluconazole so what is the azole present here that is called triazole but already we have seen drugs having triazole but this one is having two triazoles um so it is a, a bis triazole okay so what is the structure so it is having benzene ring that is having two fluorines so difluoro groups and a uh, benzene with uh, by re by replacing this thing i mean a uh, triazole with ch2 here also triazole with ch2 by replacing these um, this by means of hydrogen and replacing this by means of hydrogen means we are getting a uh, benzene ring ch2 oh so that is called as benzyl alcohol what is meant by benzyl alcohol c6h5 ch2 oh that is called as a benzyl alcohol and this carbon no that can be called as alpha carbon okay so what is the parent here that is called benzyl alcohol in the case of benzyl alcohol second and fourth position are having positions are having fluorines that's why it is called 2,4 difluoro and uh, this is alpha position i said no so alpha both the positions are having i mean uh, uh, both the same that's why it is called alpha alpha dash or we can write alpha alpha both the same that's why bis this is called triazole so 1,2,4 triazole no so 1h 124 triazole 1 yl methyl close bracket benzyl alcohol so that is the chemical name of fluconazole so it is the bis triazole with broad spectrum antifungal properties it is suitable for both oral and iv administration the intravenous solution contains 2 mg of free base in 1 ml of isotonic sodium chloride or 5% dextrose vehicle here it is having two weakly basic triazole rings no that gives sufficient aqueous solubility it is used for the treatment and prophylaxis of disseminated and deep organ candidiasis it is also used for esopharyngeal and oropharyngeal candidiasis so because of its efficient penetration into csf it is it would be easily penetrated into csf that's why it is used for the treatment of cryptococcal meningitis and for the prophylaxis against cryptococcus in aids patients and cockidio um, cockidioidal meningitis that's all about fluconazole this drug is an aptifine it is coming under allyl amine derivative so this is allyl so up to this is allyl this is amine so that's why it is coming under allyl amine derivative so what is the structure of uh, naphthalene from the name itself we can say it is having a naphthalene so what is meant by naphthalene fusion of two benzene rings that can be called as naphthalene and the first position of naphthalene is having uh, ch2 nh2 here by replacing methyl by means of hydrogen and by replacing this uh, this by means of hydrogen we are getting ch2 nh2 so that can be called as methyl amine otherwise we can write methanamine so what is the parent here that is called naphthalene this is first position naphthalene one methanamine or one naphthalene methanamine so that is the chemical name so here in the nitrogen what is added so n methyl methyl would be added with the nitrogen that's why n methyl again n open bracket this is first carbon one and uh, two three so in the third one is having phenyl 3 phenyl and bond is here so that's why 2 propenyl bond is between these two that's why 2 propenyl close bracket 1 naphthalene methanamine so that is the chemical name of naphthalene so what are all present in the structure of naphthalene on uh, that is having naphthalene naphthalene with methanamine ch2 nh2 so here the h is replaced by means of ch3 and one more h no that can be replaced by means of uh, um sorry here this is ch2 ch2 ch double bond ch uh, this ring that is called as uh, um naphthalene it is supplied in a 1% concentration in cream and gel for topical treatment of ringworm athlete's foot and jock itch it is used for the treatment of ringworm of beer scalp and tinea vesicular
drug is tolnaftate. Uh, we'll see the structure. It is also having naphthalene and that one is uh, having, I mean in second position of naphthalene it is having O, C, double bond S and here uh, NH, CH3 again one phenyl that is having methyl. So methyl phenyl. So that is the structure of tolnaphtate. Already we have seen this is called as naphthalene and second position is having O, uh, C double bond S. Yes. NH okay so by replacing this methyl and methyl phenyl by means of hydrogens means we are getting O C double bond S NH2 okay so instead of uh, sulfur we have oxygen means that is called O C O NH2 C O NH2 already we have known that is called as amide but here instead of oxygen here we have sulfur that is called thioamide okay this is called naphthalene so naphthalene 2YL second portion is having the 2YL oxy for this carbon that is methane thioamide so that would be the parent here with the nitrogen what is added N methyl yeah methyl is added that's why N methyl with the nitrogen again it is having uh, 3 methyl phenyl this is 1 2 3 so 3 methyl phenyl close the bracket on uh, this is called naphthalene 2YL oxy methane thioamide. So that is the chemical name of tolnaphtate. It is also coming under allylamine antifungal agent. It is a thioester of beta naphthol. It is uh, fungicidal against dermatophytes. And it is available in a concentration of 1% creams, powders, aerosols, gels and solutions for the treatment of ringworm, jock itch and athletes food. It is an inhibitor of squalene epoxidase. And that's all about tolnaphtate. We'll see the other drugs in the next class.